Thank you for calling Publix Customer Services. Doug, how can I help you? Hey, Duke. Um, I was hoping for a little bit of help. Are you familiar with the automatic doors on the front of the building? Uh, a little bit. I'm not, the, I'm not the super expert at that. You having trouble okay. somewhere else? Well, no. I, what I'm trying to do, um, do you know how sometimes there's like birds and animals out there? Yeah. I'm trying to uh, like let them know like how to trigger. I'm trying to teach the animals how to open the door. Um, but if, if there's a way that you can position it like a little bit lower so it'll trigger easier for them, that would be very helpful for me. I, I have no idea. You want me to grab somebody that might know the answer to that? Well, I just any way we can. If there's any way we can adjust the sensor to make it easier for animals to open the door on their own, um, yeah, yeah. If there is someone who can do that, then yeah, we can. If, or if hold you on, can get out there, if you have like a screwdriver or a wrench or something, and if you want to try, on. if you want to try going out there with the ladder and, and and adjusting it, I don't mind. If you want to try it, go ahead. Hold, hold on one second. What am I waiting for though? Talk to this guy. Um, he's talking about he wants to change the sensors on the front door. Thanks for calling Publix. This is Dwayne. How can I help you? Is that something we're going to be able to do, Dwayne? Like, do you have um, a way to adjust the sensor? I'm sorry, what's that? Oh, no, yeah. I'm. Hi, how are you? How are you, Dwight? Good. I'm trying to make it. Um, you know, there's wildlife. There's wildlife out there, and there are birds and other raccoons and a stray dog now and then. And um, if there would be a way, because I'm trying to teach them like, through conditioning, um, and, and other forms like that. I'm trying to teach them how to open automatic doors so that they can get in to places. Yep. Um, if there would be a way, can you adjust the camera down a little bit to make it more towards the ground? No, we cannot do that. You're not able to, or you don't know how to? No, we can't do that. We, it's so you, a set position. We can't but do you that. Can, well, you can adjust it, or I could if you'd like. Uh, no, they don't really like us. You could call our store manager tomorrow. Okay. And he could but, uh, and let mean, you know uh, for sure. In the meantime, what do you want me to do? To just open the door for the animals, like myself, for now? Yeah, that, I mean, that's fine. We're closed okay. now, so it would have to be tomorrow anyway. So until we can get this taken care of, I'll just let the animals in myself. Yeah, you could. what you could do is you could talk to, uh, like I said, Russell Brown. He's the store manager. Oh, I don't like him. Do. No, 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 no. We had a thing. We had a thing like a year ago, and he was mad at me. I don't oh, know he hasn't he, been here a year. Uh, it was at the other place. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. Bye. I love you. Thank you for calling Staybridge. This is Faith. How can I help you? Hi, Faith. Um, I need a little bit of help. Um, I am having a problem in my room, um, like with the window kind of towards the parking lot. Okay. There What's going on with it? is, um, or do you know the, the Honda car? The what? There's a Honda I think it's a Civic, maybe a Civic. Okay. Um, I don't, I don't particularly care for it. Would there be a way of contacting the owner and having it moved, perhaps? Okay. Uh, what's going on with it? Oh, I just don't care for it. Um, I'm not sure who owns it. Okay. Um, so, uh. Oh, well, if I Where pref- is it? If, well, if I prefer, we could we could move it um, completely off premises, like under the street or something. Um. Well, I can't just move vehicles. Well, no. Um, I mean, I mean, make make the make the uh, the owner guest. Well, that's what house. I'm saying. I'm not sure who owns. We could make vehicle. the we could make the house guest move it. Well, right, but I don't know who owns that vehicle. Well, you could you could look. You can go out there and get his license plate and look him up. Yeah, um, I will look into doing that. Right now we are doing shift change. Okay, so do you want me to put the next lady on and I'll tell her again? Um, well, I will well, look one, into okay, doing one that the, tonight. No, no, one of the two of us is going to have to tell the next lady if it's a shift change. Well, I don't know. I, at this point, I'm not too confident that you will. I feel like you're brushing me off. I don't, I just don't, okay, every time that I go to the window to look out, and you know, because I have a drink and I'm looking out and I'm going, you know, like, uh, like that. Uh-huh. I don't want to be looking at that goddamn Civic. Okay. So, now, here's an can option. Can you shut your curtain? And no, no, is there I another window? Then I can't look out then. No. That's not oh. the one. I want to look. This is my looking out window for when I'm having it. I'm sipping on a. I have, like, a drink, and I'm sipping on it. I'm looking out there. Okay. It's my, we have listen, a patio that you can go out. 
Mm, Would you no. like to do that? No. Or come out in the lobby mm, and look mm, out those windows? Well, can I drink alcohol openly? In the lobby? I can't. I can. Yeah. Can I, I can't. Well, I can't smoke in the lobby. Uh, not in the lobby. No. No. We have no smoking in, in our rooms. Right. So I can't smoke in the lobby. Um, I prefer. I'm have. I'm all set up here. Really, I'd rather just get the Honda out of here. Well, I'm sorry. We can't accommodate that. Now, riddle me this. If I am willing, because I have a credit card with some space left on it. Now, um, do you, if you're, do you have like a preferred tow company? Yeah. Okay. If you give me their number, I'll call them up myself. But I'm then, telling you, we can't do that. Just no, no, I'll do I'm like saying I'll do it. I'll, I'm saying I will do it. It's private but we property. we can't do that. No, it's private property. You can do whatever you want. But I'm telling you, we can't accommodate you just because you don't like a vehicle. Ma'am, okay, I don't, but you own the property, and I'm I'm going to be paying for it. You have the absolute right to your, ma'am. But if somebody didn't like your are vehicle, you, we couldn't okay. tow it. Ma'am, when our forefathers, when our forefathers first came to this country, they came here to establish property rights for property owners, for businesses, to be able to exercise those property rights over their businesses' properties, okay? Mm -hmm. And you have the absolute right to maintain order on your property. So if I want to pay for a tow truck, I'm pretty sure it's one of my God-given rights for you to allow that tow truck driver to tow the tow the car to tow the I car. I will not do that. I'm sorry, ma'am. That's discriminating against somebody. It's not. I, it's what I'm saying it to is. you. It's constitutional. It's not discriminatory. It's constitutional based. That's it's based opinion. around. It's our in an in alien inalienable rights accounted uh, uh, to us from God. Okay. And well, you're I can't allowed. I accommodate you, and I'm sorry. Oh, I'm calling a tow truck then. I'm just going to do it anyway, and we'll see what happens, okay? Well, they'll come and talk to well, me. Well, I'll come, I'll come, come outside. I'll come down out. outside, like you said earlier, to hang out and have drinks in the lobby. And when the tow truck comes in, I'll catch them before you do. So thank you. Have a nice so, night. To, you can both be a smart ass. You see, we can both do it. Okay, have a good night, sir. You need to practice your phone breathing, too. You're doing it at, at, at too much at when it should be away. <laughs>